Today we're going to learn how to work with brush strokes, and I do have the workspace set up with Essentials Classic. First I want to select the Armadillo Bands, and then I want to use the Charcoal Pencil Brush. Window, Brushes. If it's hard to see here, so first I'm going to go to my library, and we're going to look under Artistic Charcoal Chark Pencil. And remember here, I can adjust my view to thumbnail, or I can look at my list view, which may be easier to make sure I get the exact one that I want. So I'm going to use the charcoal pencil. And then my next direction says, I also want to change the fill color, excuse me, the stroke color, to armadillo stripes. So I can double click my color here. In this case, I want to go to my swatches panel. Here is my color group called Texas. And right here, I have the color called Armadillo Stripes I can apply. Again, notice we're applying this to the stroke and not the fill color. Next, I want to change the border of Texas. I can go to my Window and Brushes, Shortcut F5. I can go to my Library here. And in this case, we're going to look under Borders. And then we're going to look under Borders Geometric. So again, these are numbered in order, so I can go down here to border number 15. And when we get ready to apply our brush, notice we have to click the path first, and then we can click our brush to apply it, and not vice versa. And also the directions say that we want to resize the stroke to be 0.5. We can do that here, or we can also click the down arrow and see if we have one of the preset items. Step three, you can change the stroke of the snake using any brush that you want. In this case, I went to Brushes, Artistic Paintbrush, and I can just choose a different one. That one may be a little bit thick. And then, depending on what you are trying, you may need to manually adjust the stroke as well. And then we can close these. Next, we're going to draw a new brush down here in the bottom similar to this one, and we're going to practice using some new brushes as well. Okay, so I'm going to, again going to go to my brushes, my brush libraries. Um, the first, and again, for my students, they can choose any three or four of these that they would like to do. Um, the first ones we can do are geometrics, and we can do the one for diamonds. Okay, and now to draw with the brush, I can go back over here to my paintbrush. Okay, and I can just draw a little bit right here. Um, another one that I can use is Diamonds 2. Um, but next I'm going to go to my Border Indigenous section. Okay, I'm going to arrow over, and here is my Indigenous section. Um, and I'm going to do the one called Chiseled here. Um, I may need to redo those because I think I started a little bit low. So I really want you to pay attention to the last set we could use, and this is in the Borders Novelty section. Um, so I'm going to choose Laurel. Um, if you notice, I'm going to start at the bottom of the brush and draw up. And what do we notice? We notice that it is drawing it in the wrong directions. Control Z to undo. So in this case, I need to start at the top of the bush and then just kind of drag down a little bit so I can make sure that these are going in the same direction. Um, I can do the same thing with arrow one over here. Okay, if I start and go up, the arrows are pointing upwards um, versus if I started here and went down, the arrows would be pointing down. And finally, I want to recolor a couple of the brushes over here. So I'm gonna select this one here I want to select all seven. So up here I'm going to go to Select, Same. I'm going to do Select, Same, Fill, and Stroke. You might think just fill color, but in this case it has a stroke of dark green and a fill that is empty. And then that will select all of those. I can go and change my stroke for my class. You can change it to a different shade of green, just something easy so I can see that you changed it. So here's the same directions. I'm going to click on this one. And now I can go to Select, 
same fill and stroke. I can double click my stroke color and find a completely different color to use. So again, today we learned how to go to our window and our brushes menu. Uh, remember, you can click here and look at your brushes in the thumbnail or the list view. Um, you can click your library. You can also save a new brush if you add one. Thanks for learning all about brushes and Adobe Illustrator from Southern Lee High School.